Has anyone here ever been a soldier fighting against the US? What was it like? My great uncle fought on the German side of WW2. He fought all over the place. Africa, Italy, a small stint in Russia, and he defended France from the D-Day invasion. He was later able to move to the United States as a war refugee. He said that all of his officers would constantly tell him when you're fighting the Americans you must think of the least probable way they will attack you, because that will be the way that they attack you. He also said that when you were fighting Americans more so than any other country's army he fought, you had to have eyes in the back of your head. Most don't. They can engage from miles away where the last thing you see and hear is a missile landing on you. I watched a video from an Apache so high they couldn't hear, and they just rained down bullets from the sky. As surprising as an attack can get. Truly a special machine. My uncle, who I will be seeing in a week for Thanksgiving, was there, he is 86 now. He still will not talk about it. His kids did not know that he was in Korea until they were in their mid to late 20s. I remember when I was little he would mow the lawn without a shirt and I could see the scars on his abdomen. When I asked about them, he said they were from having his appendix taken out, clearly not the case, as an adult looking back on it. To this day he is a staunch pacifist. The scariest thing is a vet that won't talk about his time. You know there is some horrible shit still there. This is much akin to the horror stories told in Japan after America dropped the atomic bombs, that American troops were savages who were going to come into Japan and rape all the women. That is why there was such a high suicide rate in Japan in the months after the war. Terrifying stuff. Oh the irony. That description is actually pretty accurate of what the Japanese did. No doubt that America has its fair share of atrocities on its hands, but let's be frank about the Japanese treatment of POWs. They literally cut the flesh off of living soldiers and ate it. This is among plenty of other very disturbing war crimes. This is true my grandfather tells me stories about Korea, he is US Marine. He tells me about how easy it was to just mow through any resistance ever, I condensed this part, the only thing he said that ever scared him over there was waking to an earthquake. My grandfather served 20 years in the Italian military, he was an MP, a paratrooper, and everything in between, that's what he'd always say anyways, he served on the front lines during World War II, although he was mostly in Africa fighting the British. After the war he never liked the British. He would tell us they were dirty and never wore underwear, not sure if that was true or not. He never had anything bad to say about the Americans however. Also Mussolini, he was a school AT share, good a man. I'm guessing he was from the south? My grandfather, Nano, is from the north and this is what he said. Hey Nano, what do you think of the Greeks? Eh, I don't mind the Greeks. Those southern Italians and Mussolini though, they fucking bastards. Little known fact the Mussolini is not really hated in much of Italy the way he is seen as some horrible dictator around the world. And that the average American Marine was much taller and more physically robust than the average North Korean soldier. Is this not true? While some of it might be due to genetically smaller bodies for Asian races, the fact that they really weren't doing great on food may have contributed. Genetics do play a part once you have enough food supply though. No matter how much or what the Japanese eat, Japanese people will always be shorter than Northern Europeans. The world's tallest people today are the Dutch, where the average man is supposedly 6 feet 1 inch. It was an odd feeling when working flights arriving from Amsterdam to be about average size, I'm 6 feet 3 inches in American. He wasn't saying that the American stature was a horror story. He was calling it a fact. Perhaps he could have used different punctuation to express that more clearly? This should be at the top. Closest thing to the real point of this is credit out of everything here. He likened the dread that he felt to what one must feel when faced with a massive tidal wave that is about to engulf you and everyone you know. 
like working retail on Black Friday. I remember the same things. Only it wasn't a NATO shooting at us, but our countrymen, as you say only the tactical targets of course. This is the most interesting post in the thread in my opinion. How do you feel about the American bombings of your country today? Were the right and necessary or wrong and inhumane? How do you feel about the US Army supporting UCK? Hopefully this won't get buried, but my hopes are not too high. My father was a sniper during the bombardment in Yugoslavia, and my best friend's father was a member of the elite unit called Tigers while the war in Kosovo was raging. I'll be short because I have to sleep, but my father told me it was like trying to repel a wave on the beach by building a castle out of sand. You fought, you may have won some small encounters be it by accident or pure luck, but you always knew that if they wanted they could just kill us all and be done with it. Not a nice time for Yugoslavia that's for sure. Sorry to hear that bro, it was a terrible time, and I hope things like that never happen again. Ruthlessness and savagery that left us all far behind modern states of today, and whose remnants still don't let us progress towards something better. I'm glad your family was okay, best of luck in your future and take care. My cousin Javier was in Faluya in 2004 with the army, and says it was a logistical clusterfuck sometimes. He told me about having to kill kids barely in their teens. That dude is all sorts of fucked up. The army was there first. Out of everyone in this post you probably have the most complete grasp of what went down in the opening years of that war.